I want to say something wallahi to every brother and to every sister Muslim and non-Muslim also the thing is my brothers and sisters I want you to live your life stop living other people's lives this is a really big problem that we have many of us we put ourselves in a position of stress and and sadness because we're trying to live a life that is not ours we're trying to live other people's lives we spend so much time looking over the fence to see what is happening on the other side and you're not and and you're not appreciating what you have nor are you dealing with what you have like i'll give you an example personally i'm you know and i'm not here to hate uh, on, on wallahi i'm just you know like this facebook concept right i'm not on facebook and I'm not here to say it's halal or it's haram. Wallahi, I'm not. But the concept amazes me, man. And our lives have become so attached to it that it brings unnecessary stress and unnecessary sadness. Why? Because you're so caught up with how other people are living their lives that the only thing you can see in your life is what's missing. And you stop seeing what you have. And really, I find it interesting. And again, forgive me now, these are just my personal. Have we become so shallow that I need to let the world know where I am, what I'm eating, where I'm going, and who I'm with? And have you become so shallow that you need to follow people now? I don't understand. Like, people take selfies. Just, just had lunch. <laughs> Are you that bored? <laughs> Just had lunch. It was the best. <laughs> well, like, you know, look, it's funny, but wallahi, you don't understand the effects it has on individuals, even marriages. So, you know, people who take selfies and then put it up on the internet, I find it amazing. If you're so sincere, why don't you take a photo as soon as you wake up in the morning? You know, while you still got those things in your eyes. No, the picture is selected. And I always take a photo when I'm on a holiday or I'm having something, right? And I, I, and, and, and I go to extreme efforts to show the world that I'm living the life. But in truth, you're not living the life. You're a human being like everyone else. And what tends to happen is, and, and, and really, wallahi, I say to people, even if you are happy, don't show it to the world. Because people will start to hate on you, they will start wishing to have what you have, and they will start wishing that Allah takes what you have and gives it to them. And this happens with marriages, lots of marriages, why? Because we're trying to live a life that's not ours. I mean, really, if Allah gives me $500 a week, then live the life of someone that has $500 a week. No, I want to live like the one that's making $3,000 a week. But my brother and sister, Allah didn't give you that. Allah says, I'm not going to question you on things I haven't given you. Why do you make things difficult on yourself? Brothers who drive around all day, working all day, looking at every woman that comes his way, admiring and lusting and Allahu Akbar, he comes home and he says to me, man, I'm sick of my wife. Yeah, of course you're sick of your wife. Had you spent 10% of the time you spend looking at other people's women, had you just spent that time looking at what Allah gave you, maybe you would appreciate her as well. But you don't. You're looking at the things that don't belong to you. You look at things that are not yours. You're trying to live the life that is not yours. Wallahi, just live your life. 